Hey guys, welcome to another kitty guide, and this is 10 common mistakes in war robots. On number 10, play some defense. Sometimes, three beacon status is all you need. And as you can see in this clip, I'm actually um, charging towards um, this far beacon over here in Dead City. And um, we have three beacons, so I guess it wasn't necessary for me to try to get the fourth beacon. And obviously, I used up my skill, and I'm walking up to this beacon, and as you can guess, I get smoked right here. And it's a waste of a bot. Although I'm in a long distance sniper setup in a small map, um, we have three beacons capped and trying to keep it that way really pays off and as you can see the beacon gauge, three beacon status is all you need to drain enemy's beacon. On number 9, pace your mech. This actually applies a little bit more towards inexperienced players, new players. Um, they actually mech out and uh, end up leaving the match, leaving their teammates down a player, which is very uh, unfair. And especially that happening within like 3 minutes of the game is definitely not going to help you get more damage and by getting damage uh, more silver or getting the win for your team. And it's definitely not good for you and your teammate. So this was actually one of my worst mistakes that I had and excessively brawling engaging with enemies isn't gonna help you pace your mech. And on number 8, not using boosters efficiently. And obviously some of some of the boosters we have from daily tasks and some we actually have to purchase with gold but um ideally having running all boosters will be very ideal but that we, we can't always do that so i guess um maybe you running one or two boosters um to, accustomed to your hangar uh, can be very effective uh, as far as attack boosters go we have the cooldown ability boosters and increased firepower boosters if you like to play a lot of bots that uh, rely on a lot of weapons or it's a, a skill ability I would definitely um, utilize or prioritize using these attack boosters and let's look over to the defense boosters we have the increased HP booster shield and mobility booster so if your hangar rely a lot on tanky robots that involves obviously a lot of HP or damage resistance or even healing I would pr prioritize using the defensive boosters on number seven we have camping what that means is excessive sniping and as you can see in this clip we have Zeus Fury and Flux Fury and none of them are going to get beacons and most times um, you need beacons in games to win the game and in some maps, actually, some uh, sniper builds would actually perform very well, but the problem is in smaller maps, um, you will become a burden to your team. And prime example of that is in Dead City. This spot right here is a hot spot for all sniper loving players. And obviously with Flux Fury and uh, Trebuchet Butch, is very famous for staying in this and a lot of people call it camping because um, it seems like they're just gone and not in the game <laughs> so definitely know when to ditch your sniper bot and on number six you gotta get the basics down get beacons and if you see this mini map here we got three guys on near uh, farm beacon which is beacon E on Springfield so by not getting our closest beacons, um, we definitely can't spawn in there and support and we're losing a lot of beacon points. And on number 5, we have flying solo and this is a common mistake that you even see in Champions League. This is kind of similar to not pacing your mech 
but I do want to emphasize on the teamwork. It is a 6 versus 6 game unless you're playing free for all. And playing with your team, synchronizing um, strategies, uh, making the team work, uh, that that's really the fun part of the game. So if you're not playing with your teammates, you're missing out on a big factor of the game that makes it fun. And here's another clip of going solo and getting smashed. And on this clip, I do want to show how teamwork uh, was efficiently executed. Even though we had disadvantaged spawn point, um, we were able to get that third peak. And On number four is target selection. You have to pick the right target. So in this clip here, usually rockets have hard time following flying robots. So as soon as I saw Orc Inspector, I triggered this player to use its skill and I landed where I could shoot first. On number three, always reload and you see a lot of this even in Champions League as well. Uh, people don't seem to reload their weapon before they engage. Making that mistake would pretty much make you lose a bot. And obviously this happens a lot to impatient players. You definitely need patience. So if you make this mistake, think about one engagement at a time. And after one engagement, always keep an eye on your weapon reload time. And on number two, opening split, don't all go to the same side. And in order to do that, you have to look around, obviously, where your teammates are go going. And I think this mistake costs more in Beacon Rush. In this clip, I'm looking around to see where my teammates are going. And there was only one guy going towards Center Beacon. Towards Center Beacon was right place for me to go. One of the reasons why solo players can be very frustrating is a lot of players like to go to the same spot and obviously and it's usually because in certain spots you can do a lot of damage and sometimes you have to give up that spot to get the right beacons. So dropping into the fastest spot out there, um, I was able to rush towards center beacon just because most of my team knew where to go. Last but not least, on number one, play in sync with your skill cooldown time. I think most people, most veteran players would agree with me that if you overcome this mistake, you become next level player. And especially newer robots having dominant special skill and overcoming this mistake will help your gameplay by a whole lot. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys know of any other common mistakes, leave them down in the comments section below. And I hope this video helped. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later.